everybody and welcome back to Rensville. Today I'm going to be installing uh, switches on the control panel so that I can operate the turnouts from the control panel. And in order to do that I'm going to have to change the way I operate the turnouts. I'm going to have to change the NCE Switch 8 Mark 1 for an NCE Switch 8 Mark 2. Using this combined with the button board will allow me to have control with switches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the light on its side and you can see what I'm going to be changing back in a moment. So this is what I'm going to be replacing. It's the NCE Switch 8 decoder board. It's designed to operate Toy Toys point motors. These are stall action motors and this board will not work solenoid or servo point motors. Only stall motors like the Toy Toys. Basically power comes in from the main bus. There are 16 outputs, 2 to each point motor giving a total of 8 point motors per board and basically one output goes to one terminal on the point motor the other terminal goes to the other one this is a bit convoluted because mine goes to the control panel so that's why it goes up here and then back down again uh, that's to control the bi-coloured LEDs uh, but if you didn't have LEDs it would just be one wire to one side, one wire to the other side and so on and so forth. You don't have to use all eight as you can see I've only got seven here um, but it's designed for up to eight. Once all your wires are in this little jumper cable here, uh, it's not a jumper cable is it, it's just a, a jumper, you put that to there and using this uh, switch you set it to point number one on your cab control you go to system accessory select one press enter and it's set you then move it to two do the same again with number two three so on and so forth when you've done that you remove the jumper and that's it it's programmed very simple doesn't take any time at all to install very easy reliable sorted what I'm replacing it with though is the new version which is this one which is a switch 8 mark 2 does everything this one does but more uh, for a start you can have the track bus going in so it's powered from the track as per this one or if you switch this little switch here you can have a separate DC input so the points are completely separate from the layout. Also, this has been done away with for programming and it is now a little button. It's got a nice little LED readout display there to tell you which one it is. And you simply press this button, a little LED lights up there to tell you which one is selected and then you program. Very simple. But more importantly, are these outputs here and these allow me now, when it's connected, to have switches. Something this won't do. This is just for a cab control. So I'm going to swap it all over now, and then I'll come back when I've done that. Oh, just as a little aside, uh, you may notice that on the point motors, there is only the input. There is nothing to power the frogs. I use a live frogs on mine, but normally you would use the uh, switch on here to go to the point and it would switch. I don't use that. I use this. And this is a hex frog juicer. This will control up to six uh, frogs. Super little system. Again, Power just goes from the main bus from here to here 
six outlets, one to each frog. So as you can see here from one there, goes down to the frog, so on and so forth. Plug it in, that's it, job done. No need to program it, perfect. And what this does is automatically changes the polarity of the frog. So you don't have to bother anything like that. Um, if a locomotive is running against a point on a normal DC system, if the wheel touches the frog and it, the switch is set against the locomotive, it will shut down, it will cause a short. This prevents that. What this does, it detects a short and faster than the control system can shut the system down, it changes the polarity. So. You can now have prototypical roading against uh, points if you so wish. So that's just how I control the uh, the power to the points. So as you can see, I've installed the new Switch 8 Mark II. All the connections are all the same. The only ones I will add to it are wires out of these outlets to the switches. But I'm just going to test it at the moment to make sure it's all operational. So, power to weapons and hope it doesn't blow up. Yes, there we go. Frog juice is operational. And if you look here. The wig wagging bars indicate the circuit board is operational and receiving information from the controller. Now the instructions say that the default settings from the factory are already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 etc. So I shouldn't need to use the um, select button to program it. So we'll just try it. So if I go down to number six, which is this one. So if I press accessory there, enter six, enter, if I press one, there you go. I enter. Excellent, all working. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put the wires on and get ready to install the switches. Be back soon. So now I've wired up the button board using three three wires here. I've put them through to uh, this three pin chassis mount DIN plug. This is the other side, this is because the board is going to be mounted underneath the panel and that's detachable. So it's connected there, and it's connected at the ends there into the into the board. So now if I just I'll just put a switch on just to make sure it actually works and there you go that's that's uh, connected to switch number one. You can't see it operating but you can hear it. So now I can control the turnouts via the cab or the switches. So all I have to do now is drill a hole through here so that the socket can go there. This wire will go through here, be tidied up, and then I can move on to doing the panel. Be back shortly. Okay, so now I've turned the baseboard over and wired in the switches. As you can see, it's all operational. So now I can just use the switches to operate. 
the turnouts. Or I can use the cab. So again, select, uh, we'll try number six, enter. And you can see it's changed. So that's a good way of doing it. So now when I make exhibitions and uh, I let people have a go operating the layout, it's far simpler for them to just switch the switches rather than to keep messing around with the power cab. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Take care, thank you very much.